Oh, so glad you stuck around. It's time for What the Hell is Wrong with People? And we have a doozy to start with. Mm. I saw this video and I thought, what is going on? What is it's going on? It's in Abbotsford. The police put this out. So somebody pulls up and check this out. About a dozen people pull up, get out with bats and swords and... Can you imagine watching this in your driveway, axes? Cam? And they start attacking all these vehicles. The homeowners are saying, what is going on? We don't have a beef with anyone. We don't know what's happening. Mistaken identity? There like are what? a couple of tenants, I believe, in the basement. And I don't know. It could be, be It could be mistaken identity. But what the hell? Hey, guys, let's all pull up in front of this house and destroy their vehicles. Who thinks of doing something like that? Like, who actually physically goes, yeah, hand me a bat? Well, what not up? to mention, what if people came running out of the house with their own bats? And before you know it, you got... Somebody is going to die. No, no. It's crazy. Okay, this one for the crazy dog lady, that's me. Mm. This story of meth dogs, a puppy got sick eating poo. Okay, nobody should eat poo. Dogs do. Some Is this do. human poo? Eating, well, yeah. Because there was meth in the, in the poo, so it's... You and, know. And did they take the dog to the vet and they yeah. tested the vet yeah. and they said the dog... It's meth. Oh my God. Well, and you know what? Cannabis is very toxic to dogs. And people go, who See? cares? And you're throwing joints in the dog park. Don't throw your there joints. are tons and tons of dogs that go to vets in BC every day. Yeah, my girlfriend because. Kathy Tostenson, her dog is, both dogs, multiple times have been toxic poisoning from THC. It yeah. is terrifying. And yeah. as a dog owner, please, just please look don't. out. Just don't. Carry just one of don't. those little, you know, of containers, a little ashtray kind of thing. How about the just don't there. of this? If, if a child comes to school, with nail polish on, male or female, don't take it off them. Right. Uh, that's not okay. I mean, this little guy was super excited. He Eight went for old. a Manny Petty. Yeah. It, I think it was a birthday thing. Yeah. Uh, anyway, goes to school and the teacher goes, nope. And they took it off without the parental consent. And that is not okay. That is not okay. However, there is some happy ending to this story. And it has to do with an MLA uh, who stood up in the house in Victoria and uh, supported this young Said man. this. In solidarity, many of my colleagues here, over two dozen, including many of my male colleagues, uh, we painted our nails. And our message to Shamar is that anyone can paint their nails and they deserve to feel safe going to school doing so. So all the best for Shamar. Yes. I gotta tell you, Linda, up until just recently, I was painting my son's nails regularly for him to go to high school. He loved it. It was black. It went with this oh, whole death cool. metal ensemble right? that he is now changed out of. The kids are allowed to be kids. How about that? Yeah, and here's some fun things. Speaking of kids, Sesame Street has a new character, and for the first time ever, it's a Filipino Muppet. Oh, I you know what? That. The Filipino community would love that. Indeed. A any community would love to see themselves reflected. Shout out to my girl, Lani Tumbaga, my other mother. I have Filipina who is still in my life mm -hmm. and her whole family. A big shout out to them. Uh, let's look at this fine tweet from our mayor in Vancouver, Ken Sim, naming May 10th John Garrett Day in the city of Vancouver. Those who love hockey know Cheech. John Garrett, he's a Canucks mainstay. There he is. He uh, is semi-retiring uh, from uh, covering. They made him a cake they with made his face cake. on it. So great. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. The greatest stash, yeah. stash ever. What a good guy. John Garrett is one of the, the classiest and finest people in all of hockey, and he will be missed on the Canucks broadcast. Yeah. Here's another one. So this is in Texas, and uh, firefighters are driving by, and they see a 95-year-old guy trying to mow his lawn, and it's up the hill, and he can't do it. And they were like, we'll help. Got it. So they parked the fire truck, and the firefighters got out. And they said, no worries, sir. We are going to mow this entire lawn for you. And I, I love say, it. way to go to your first responders wherever you live. These are people who do a wonderful job for all of us. Whether right. your house is burning down or your grass is growing long. Random acts of kindness. I mean, mm -hmm. we can all learn a little bit of something from there. Yeah. You can just help people when you see people in need. Uh, and you can rescue a dog when they're this cute. Linda. That is a little puppy that was given to Mexico because they sent one of their canine rescue dogs to Turkey after the earthquake. And that dog actually passed away. So this little pup was sent back to Mexico uh, in honor of the dog that they lost. Okay, reminder, mother's... Oh, thank you to Twist Fashions yes. for the beautiful outfit Linda is Lord wearing. Shoes. I've got my Lord Shoes ensemble on. To our sponsor, Cascadia Liquor, who is opening another outlet in Port Alberni. Check it out. That's happening May 18th. Yeah, make sure you do that. Thank you to Nina Savage and Derek Wong. Don't forget Mother's Day is on Sunday. We'll see you next see week you on Steel and Vance.